Hi, my name is Maria Eugenia Celaya. I am a Spanish teacher at Eastside High School in Gainesville, Florida. Um, one of the strategies that I have used uh, with the lower level of Spanish is creating cuentos de paso, peace stories. Um, after the kids um, learn the past tense in Spanish and they have learned several um, vocabulary words useful for this uh, project, I asked them to um, create original stories related to peace building. Um, I asked them to visit the USIP webpage where they can read um, information about peace builders from different parts of the world and also peace um, conflicts and how they resolve those conflicts. Um, some of the examples, for example, uh, we have um, Un Alborotador, a troublemaker. The idea was for the kids to create the original story. They uh, created the graphics and they also um, had the Spanish and the English. At the end of the stories, each of them had a positive message, a message of peace. Hi there. My name is Ezra Shear. I'm a social studies teacher here at Sentinel High School in Missoula, Montana. Then we began looking through that conflict analysis work in a really deliberate way. Students did background research to investigate the place and the history and the people and the cultures, and then went through each one of those steps of conflict analysis to develop a cohesive report. At the end, the final product will incorporate recommendations from the students themselves to stakeholders, the president, secretary of state, etc., and the people on the ground that these stakeholders could use to resolve the conflict in nonviolent ways. Hello, my name is Vince Riccioni, and I want to thank the USIP for the opportunity to make this strategy video. So we begin to launch right away by dividing my classmates into groups of four or less, and we begin with a graphic organizer. Together, they're going to answer three questions. The first question is, what do I know about the Arab-Israeli conflict and peacemaking process? The second question that they'll have to answer, what are the sources of my information? Are they reliable? Are they biased in a certain slant? Are they fake news or real news? And the third question is, what do I want to learn more about? And what do I want to gain a greater appreciation of? Hi, I'm Sharita Garrett. I'm Tyler Ridgey. I'm Daylon Williams. Hi, and I'm Aliyah Dick, and this is Ms. Cameron's World Literature class. One of our assignments was to be a part of a mock, um, a mock United Nations created by Ms. Cameron. Um, when we had came into class that day, she had gave us a passport, like so, and it had our names in the countries that we were in. We split into groups according to our countries, and we had to study our country's political and social structures. Not only did we have to study the political structures, but we also had to view from an, uh, from an uh, international point of the alliances between all of the different countries that took part in this uh, lesson. Okay, and uh, as a part of the United Nations, um, American history class had uh, came in and presented their uh, fictional country, and uh, we judged them and gave them questions about it and see if they can get acceptance at the United Nations.